Hey guys, doing good, please have me here. And this video is to re review my brand new game, which I bought a few days back ago, which was this Test Drive Unlimited 2. I know some people hated the game. I actually like it because um, I've actually got the first version, first edition of that game, you know, Test Drive Unlimited 1 on this, my PSP 3000. Previous to 3000. As you can see there, PS button on the console itself, and on the back, the fin ring. You know, it's got the fin ring as it normally has. Uh, it still works, but I need to buy a new charger for it. The the old one is actually split into two. The wires actually split on the old one, so um, and you know, I plug it into the mains, you know, electric shock. So that sucks. But um, you know, I had to reset it up after using it. I'm not using it for so long. It's been like months since I last used it, so it's. You know, batteries, the battery is completely flat, it needs to be re reset, and uh, it's got the latest firmware as well installed on it. But um, basically, this game, now I'm just going to carry on with this game as I said. Um, you know, I'm up to the Hawaii stage of the game now, just started, just done the first, um, got the first license in Hawaii, but um, I've got the A6 challenge, not the first one, now I'm onto the second part of it. And uh, the two cards of music for that are the Audi TTS, I think it is, and the second one is the Nissan 370Z. Uh, both good cars, you know, I had to go for the Audi because of the four wheel drive on that. But um, the Nissan, I only went for that because of the higher horsepower it has. And some races you need you need a faster car because the TT is just too slow and you need a car to get past all those guys and make, you know, create a big gap. Between, between, say like this is your car, look, say this is your car, and then this is second place, with miles away, which I can't fit onto the camera's way. Ah, uh, anyway, like that. So if we do gap like that, which just keeps increasing. We said it's good for that, especially the straight line speed races. Yeah, you know. Um. Yeah, sorry guys, it's just um. Ah, I've got three days of work, so you know, not a holiday or anything, but you know. Not too like to work first day, so two, three days off, three, four days off, so you know. I get to laze around, have a lie in, lift my weights as usual, and uh, yeah, anyways, I'm digressing on this, sorry about this, guys. Um, the aspects of this game, it's got some really good, it's got some really, really good graphics, and the thing is, on here, the damage is good. But you don't get like car parts flying off your own car. It's like the cars you crash into, their bumpers come flying off, and they're stuck there splashing their hazard lights. You know, you know the indicators. Um, but on this game, the gameplay, the dynamics are good. You get you get the occasional assholes who keep smashing into your car, challenging you for a race and that. Listen, guys, if you hit my car, I'm I'm not going to accept the request though, because the reason I'm not accepting it is because I'm not I'm not completed the game. I've only just bought this game like less than a, less than two weeks ago, so you know I've not even finished it yet. So give me a chance, guys. Give me a chance to complete the game, so if then I can race you online. But um, you know, not not just guys on my PSN list or my subscribers, but you know, just around the whole community. I'm just trying to put that put that point out. If those guys know that you know, I'm not just not just ignoring the request because for the sake of it, it's just. Just that I need to complete the game before I can do that, and you know, with Saints Row 4 being around the corner, I'm going to buy that when that's released as well. I'm buying that on release day as well, and uh, you know, with that game coming out, I'm going to then I'm going to play that till till GTA 5 comes out, and then s carry on. And also, I'm going to pre-order the Phenom edition of WW2K14. You know, as you can tell from my username, Kevin Taker 270, Undertaker fan. Got to get the Phenom edition, and uh, also you get the Ultimate Warrior. But that's a bonus. Um, although I never grew up in his era, so um, anyways, that's months ahead. That's November. It's August now. Let's get on with the video. And that's uh, this is an awesome game. If you see the reviews by IGM and all that, ignore those reviews. They're shit. This game does not suck. This game is awesome. Seriously, I mean, yeah, you get some bits which really piss you off in the game, you know, like, like if you can't get past the license test or anything. But what are you supposed to do? 
you've got to keep trying and trying and until you get past it. So, um, yeah, that's the laptop screen coming out, you know, it does that, but never mind. Um, anyway, there's another thing. I've got, I'm in the dilemma here because there's two games I want to buy, both good games, but I don't know which one is better. One being Deadpool, the other one being Skyrim. They're both good games, but I just cannot pick the right one to buy. You guys can leave a comment and tell me which game is better, Deadpool or Skyrim. Then that would really help me. Because I am just so confused. It's like I want to buy both of them, but I just with the funds I've got, it's, it's difficult. Plus I've also got repair bills on my car, and you know, car expenses are going to be expensive. They're going to be freaking high, you know what I mean. And the other thing is, I looked at the price of the new PS4 games that are coming out at the end of the year. They, they actually, like, oh, sorry, I mean, basically, games on a PS3, when they're brand new, they're about 40 quid, right? PS4 games, brand new, 60 quid. Who the fuck is going to pay 60 quid for a brand new game? I ain't. I ain't paying 60 quid for a game. You must be joking. It's not that. I buy it pre-owned. <laughs> Bloody hell, what do they think we are? Made of money? God, developers these days, man. It's, it's like gaming is getting so expensive. It's like almost like they don't even want us to play the games. You know, you know what I mean? It's... Sorry if I'm just going off the subject of the game, but it's... It's just, you know, it's just pointless. I'm just thinking... You know, okay, it's next gen, but... There's no point increasing the game price by 20 quid. Um, anyways, I know this is not this is going to be an irrelevant video to what I've originally planned to title it, but um, anyways, as I was saying, um, it's not really much of a full review because um, I haven't really completed the game as I said. But, um, you know, it's my first video in about three to four weeks, so um, I do need to. Uh, I do need to adjust my routine around it, so, uh, and I'm going to have to end the video soon because Raw's going to be starting at 1 o'clock, so, uh, yeah, I'll be watching that online. But fortunately, I don't have Sky Sports. So, um, okay, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.